We always wanted to look at how virtual reality can start to change the way we design and we model information. So we we'll first look at the idea of um, recreating an imperinesis action to a virtual reality space. So Piranesi is an architect that built only one building, but did so many etchings. And in his point of view, he did so many illusionary and imaginary architecture that actually were never built. And with this same idea, today with technology, we're able to experience spaces without it being physically built. So similar to Piranesi, we're recreating it in this 21st century context. The process of taking something that has no digital aspect to it into a digital reality. So moving, painting in a virtual world and then representing it in a virtual world. So we first started to look at the action um, carefully. Um, we actually found a bound volumes which contains the original um, 16 plates of actions from Paranesi's um, in the 1804 um, publications called the Opera Vary um, in the Rare Book Collection at the University of Melbourne. Um, after studying and careful observations of the drawings, we started to model them in three-dimensional space. We decoded Piranesi first by studying in Rhino and modelling a sort of bare bone structure in Rhino. Um, then we imported that into Tilt Brush. Painting in Tilt Brush is a sort of out of the world experience. I mean there's, there's a struggle between finding the surfaces that you want to apply the paint to and sort of um, also making sure you've got enough space in the real world that you're not tripping over furniture. When you're painting it rather than modelling it, it adds back in that human hand, the, the touch of the, the human touch, I suppose, into the digital process. We then took from Tilt Brush into Unreal Engine um, in order to visualise the scene. The, the good thing about using Unreal Engine and real-time rendering software is that you get a multitude of final experiences. So you can experience it as a VR walkthrough, we can get 360 animations from this. The great thing is being able to experience it from a first-person perspective. I think virtual reality and augmented reality and mixed reality are coming to one. I think virtual reality is a great experience machine. It can ultimately transport you to another environment and also means that not only as a representational tool, it can be used as an experience tool. A sense of being within the image, um, within being in somebody else's mind as they've been sketching. Um, it's like living somebody else's dream.